I am originally from Neptune, and I'm a Taurus, and, uh... Met Lee and Baxter and the band Wedlock, and it it was awesome. I, I felt like a rock star. Working with um, my two cohorts in the band, I, I feel like uh, the difficulties disappeared as they went along, and it ended up being an easy and enjoyable project in the long run. I always liked the idea of, of being a singer-songwriter, um, but the, the idea of the band gave me like the camaraderie, like the, the current lineup of Wedlock is about the, the camaraderie that comes along with actually being in a band. And then you also have the advantage of being able to play out live, I think, and then that helps to to solidify what it means to actually be in a band. Emotion, you're a Pisces, and I'm drowning in your ocean. I'm wasting all my time in your office complex when I really want to see you wear that black sundress. Black sundress was fun. I got to be a blonde. I... <laughs> I have never been a blonde, and uh, I, I did have fun on that um, video shoot. That was something to just to do a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Um, I enjoyed, I, I enjoyed that one. That let me kind of stretch a little bit and all, and just take on another persona with the blonde wig, and that, uh, that was fun. interesting song to come up with because I, I envisioned somebody kind of trying to run away from their emotions like they, they felt that they were in love with somebody but didn't quite know how to express it and everywhere that they went they felt like this person kept on reappearing and that's why I got the idea of, of, a, of a ghost in that um, no matter what the situation was every time that they turned around this particular person was going to be there it was it was interesting because um you know i was used to playing jazz and blues but what's cool about coming from that background is that you know the, all the improv and all the different ways i've learned to improv kind of adapts me to you know, different situations. I've played in a lot of different bands that had different styles and stuff. And, uh, so, um, it was, it, but it was still difficult because I wasn't used to the genre. I was, you know, it was, it was something, it was definitely new to me, but it was enjoyable at the same time. It feels exhilarating to, to know that you can, on some level, connect with somebody. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's weird that a thousand people feels just like one person. If you're, I mean, if you're connected with them, I mean, the, the in, there and there's a lot of uh, energy. I think that I, I enjoy. That's what I. That's what the band feeds off of, but I know I do personally, I feed off of that kind of energy. I love playing live. Um, I love being um, in front of people. I um, That might come as a surprise to some people I know, but um, at the same time, I, I, mean, I enjoy being alone also, but uh, for some reason, as soon as I get on a stage, I, I, uh, I seem to open up, I, uh, I uh, dance around, I can't stop moving, um, maybe you can see that right now, I'm moving all around, but, uh, and, uh, I don't know, it brings, I could be tired, and it, it brings joy to me, and somehow I wake up after a while, and, you know, yeah, I love, I, I absolutely love it, ever since I was a kid.
makes me nervous at the same time as, you know, makes me enjoy myself, I guess. Well, I mean, we start off in our dates. We've got a pair of dates in Wilmington, and then for the fall and winter, we'll be like in the mid-Atlantic area doing dates to try to promote the record. And then hopefully in 2010, we'll, we'll be making our way further north. Um, clubs like maybe uh, in Baltimore, D.C., and possibly New York. Okay. So it's just basically just, just, just doing live material. There's other songs that are brand new, and uh, they're still new live. Seem new to me, but you know it's, uh, and some of them are over a year old. So I, f I find that that the first interesting thing about continuity.